Trusting in God When KK was eight, she learned that her mother was ill with cancer. The little girl didn't know what to do. As mother suffered, she longed to help. She spoke with teacher Lin at the Seventh-day Adventist school, where she studied in Thailand. Teacher Lin gave KK a big, sympathetic hug. Pray and trust in God, she said, softly. KK came from a family that was not Christian, and she had never prayed. Teacher Lin taught KK to pray. You talk to God in the same way that you would talk to your father, or to your mother, or to a friend, she said. She suggested that KK repeat a prayer after her. Dear God, she said. Dear God, KK repeated. Thank you for giving me a wonderful and loving mother, she said. Thank you for giving me a wonderful and loving mother, KK repeated. Now mother is sick. Please help her, she said. Now mother is sick. Please help her, KK repeated. Amen. Amen. Teacher Lin also showed KK how to read the Bible. KK prayed with Teacher Lin every day for four months. Whenever she felt sad and wanted to pray, the two knelt down and prayed. Sometimes KK's whole class prayed for her mother and her. Mother heard that KK and people at school were praying for her. She didn't say anything, but KK could see that she was happy that everyone at school loved her. The children did more than pray. They made greeting cards out of colorful paper and gave them to KK and her mother. KK's favorite card read, Cheer up! Mother grew weaker, but KK refused to doubt in God. She knew that God had a special plan for both her and mother. If it is God's plan for mother to go away and for me to live without her, I have to believe and trust in him, she told her classmates. Then mother died. KK cried. She did not understand why God had allowed mother to die, but she trusted him. Today, KK prays when she wakes up and before she goes to bed. She prays during the day at school. She prays without ceasing, as the Bible teaches in 1 Thessalonians 5.17. God really knows what's best for me, and he knows what will happen in my future, KK says. I trust him. Thank you for your 13th Sabbath offering three years ago that helped KK's school, Adventist International Mission School in Korat, Thailand, to construct a new campus so it could expand into a high school. The new school buildings were constructed just in time for KK to stay for high school.